and welcome to the beginning of this beautiful lego city update here um today is a little bit weird i just finished streaming and i have some things to explain so the city is gone which i'll show you here in a second uh not i guess technically not gone just everywhere but the tables because the tables got used in a rummage sale not too long ago like a weekend or two ago so had to tear everything apart and it's a little bit of a mess right now this video will span a couple days probably um try and, i'll try and get it out saturday but i can't exactly promise that because we do got some stuff to do uh i gotta leave round two or something go to a hockey game and stuff which will be super fun uh we're gonna go to a game that'll be dope as heck uh really cool to see like usual and uh yeah so i'm gonna see what i can get done by then but first of all, i'll show you the uh state of the city and what we worked on during the live stream because i did just finish the live stream it only lasted an hour because i had some technical difficulties with my gopro uh turned off once because i left the battery saver mode on on my phone which caused the screen to turn off and the stream to stop which is, you know, unfortunate, but it happens. I started the stream, went for another 20 minutes or so, and I think the GoPro overheated. I'm not entirely sure. I, there's a little message that popped up before it turned off, but then it said, that's a wrap, ending the stream, and turned itself off. So I just called it a night after that and started picking up a little bit. I got a little bit picked up, but not a ton. So uh, I'll show you that right now. So starting off first here, we got some Lego sorting stuff going over there. That's why it's a mess over there. Not a mess, it's actually organized. That's Lego sorting for you. But Eiffel Tower is chilling over there next to the Venator box. And all of the modular buildings for the most part are right here. And now over here where I had the streaming set up, I thought I was gonna get a lot more done. So I brought that stuff for to start mills plating. You can see my drinks right there. So I was actually streaming. Um, and then I got some uh, tiles and stuff right here. We got this big old bag of tiles, which is super nice, which allowed us to tile off two more of these. The other one is the original down there. We got two more road plates tiled, as well as the this side of the church, which looks absolutely amazing. I do need to find the... A uh, little spire thing that goes here and then we also found the top to it because I had lost that for a while and I already had another one made which we'll find a spot for eventually but that's really all we got done during the stream I was kind of explaining my thoughts and processes as I went and I started to run out of the uh, two by two light gray uh, modified tiles there as well with the studs. Now that I have plenty of regular 2 by 2 tiles, I'm starting to run out of the modified ones that we used to put minifigures on. Which is unfortunate. Now, if I really wanted to, I could um, tear some of these out and replace them with those tiles, making the uh, plates a little bit sparser. Like, this one can be a little bit more sparse. This front bit can be a little bit more sparse, and maybe or towards here, maybe we can get another plate or two in, but eventually we're gonna have to order more anyway because we don't have a ton of them and we're gonna need more eventually because this is only three road plates and we have a stack of stuff that needs to be done over there as well as all of these need to be switched their plates over. And I want to switch the that plate over the back side of it back to dark gray which is why i brought this over here which uh we might do real quick here again tonight uh because that shouldn't take too terribly long i don't think because i literally just need to pull the place off of here and switch them back with that which should give us a little bit more light gray plate which we'll sort out into these before i put all of this stuff away for the night and then tomorrow like i'll leave some of it out then tomorrow i will probably get some of this stuff uh situated maybe uh fix a couple of these plates like down here we have all this stuff it's all gray and it's already mills plated so i need to go through and switch all of this to light gray in here to match with the uh, rest of everything else 
for the rest of the city. Because right now the only mills plated building that we have that's switched over to the correct color scheme is the Daily Bugle. And we have to fix that and switch the back part back to dark gray because it doesn't, because it kind of looks a bit weird with the uh, uh, light gray on top of the dark gray. And I'm not as much of a fan of it. And I watched some other people's stuff where they had the front sidewalk bit, this light gray, and the back part still as the dark gray. And you can kind of see the same thing going on over here, which we're going to leave for that, for the Sanctum Sanctorum there. And yeah, and then not sure if we'll get to it, but at some point, those do need to be changed back over as well because there's a few things that are modular, uh, mills plated, I mean, and they need to be switched over to the correct color. And then when I review this guy, I will switch it over to the correct color and I'll start building a mills plate for the Jazz Club, which we have um, right back here, I believe. Yeah, right there. Um, can build a mills plate for that and then i can just build it straight onto the mills plate so that we don't have to uh go back tear everything apart and the mills plate it after i can just mills plate it review it say that i mills plated it and explain like what that is in the review and then go on with that but yeah without further ado that's gonna be it for this little quick clip and i'm going to get the daily bugle up here and we're going to plate that back as it was and sort some of this stuff out and I'll come back when I've finished that. So, okay, now I got all of this uh, retiled. It took a little while, but definitely worth it, I'd say. Definitely looks a lot better, blends in a bit more with the uh, dark gray of the thing. And another plus, now we have another base plate because I left all of the tiles on the base plate for like almost like six months now. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Over here, it does look a little bit odd where it clashes, but I wasn't too sure whether or not to, uh, switch this over and have this, like, where to actually start it. So I just started it here with the bits that kind of pop off a bit. I think it looks fine. Uh, a little bit weird, but that'll definitely get covered up as other buildings are next to it and stuff. And another thing I want to mention is I have all the pieces parted out but uh let me know if you want to see this become a video adding on to the daily bugle where i would uh i would fix this part up and i would add another one of these thicker um excuse me a uh, thicker uh plate not plates floors here so i just add another one of these and make it even taller extend the uh skyline of the uh, city when it's eventually uh, remade because this is the city right now um when we uh finally get the city all set up and it'll definitely like raise the skyline a bit and fit with the uh, eiffel tower over there and it would be uh, a little bit closer to that height it'd just be like helping to raise our skyline up a bit which I'd like to do with maybe eventually getting the Avengers Tower. And when I do get that, I want to make a larger base and have the uh, base building of it because they couldn't do that with the actual set because the base building is an actual building and they couldn't get the rights to uh, create that part of it, which is why they just did the top portion so I'd like to do that, which would also raise that up a bit, but I don't even have the set. So that's just kind of a fantasy right now. I might get the set eventually, but definitely not uh, soon. But I have all the parts set aside. Like I don't have the parts, but I like went through and figured out which pieces I would need. And then like which pieces I have, which ones I need and i um got those all on a list so let me know if you guys would be interested in that and i would just be like remaking a, another floor and raising the whole daily bugle up which i think would be a fun project to do for the city eventually when i have the pieces but um uh, yeah i think this uh 
extra like changing the tiling to this having the two different colors rather than just the one looks a lot better and will definitely look a lot better in the city when it's connected with other buildings like uh this isn't how it would work in the city because obviously i wouldn't want the uh short church right next to the daily bugle which is like the second tallest set i have uh in the city other than the eiffel tower but here's kind of how it would look next to another building where you'd have that alleyway back there which you could access via like that side and honestly it doesn't look half bad next to each other but uh definitely need like more modular style buildings rather than the church because this massive courtyard doesn't go like good with the uh skyscraper right next to it but yeah i don't think it looks bad, half bad i think it looks pretty good and uh next up we're going to work on this stuff uh get some of the mills plates a ways along and uh figure out kind of the general layout that we want to go with for the next uh section of the um city here which i'm not going to plan out right now i'm going to do that in the morning so we'll cut to when i start working on that so yeah let's go so it's technically two days later now because it's sunday morning it's like 2 30 <laughs> but yeah we uh did some stuff and got home late and stuff and I watched uh, a little bit of Saving Private Ryan and like some other movies and stuff that were on TV today because it's Memorial Day weekend. You know, Memorial's Day is in like a day. So got a whole bunch of good movies and stuff playing and I was watching that and didn't realize it was like almost two. I'm like, okay, I should probably go downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, I did not get very much done today. Because as I said, we did some stuff earlier. Went to see a hockey game, Memorial Cup. Pretty good. Uh, it was pretty fun. And like my sister and mom went off to see a baseball game as well. And tomorrow is my sister's birthday. So I don't think I'll be able to work on the city stuff much more tomorrow. Which is why I'm filming this quick clip here. Before I get all my stuff ready. Maybe watch an episode of anime or something. I don't know. Some show. I don't know haven't figured it out yet before I go to bed and stuff and then I'll edit this in the morning maybe after church if we go I I think we're going tomorrow I'm not entirely sure because it is my sister's birthday and we got a bunch of other stuff to plan and get ready so we'll see about that but I'll show you here what we have going on so as you can see I set all this slid all this stuff over and put everything up on here <laughs> And as I did mention last clip, we got all that situated. I did not do any more work on anything currently. I just kind of set everything up here right now. And I <clears throat> do have a couple ideas regarding this right here. I need a couple of these guys, which are blank. I believe to extend this the correct amount um yeah i'd need one here and one here and then maybe two more as well i'd have to uh set it all up first on base plates which we will work on next video but i also did just um get a speed champion set which i guess i'll show you right now real quick i got this guy here it was it just came out in march but i already found it at meyer for like seven bucks off it was i think like 20 bucks and it retails for like 26.99 or something like that found it at meyer for relatively cheap so i picked it up and already built it while i was watching said movies earlier and uh he has a pretty cool set and that video will be making its way out next weekend just for anyone who's curious but yeah this is probably all that's gonna this is probably gonna about do it this video i know we didn't get a ton done just mainly what i did on the stream and the uh back of that so just an overview we got two uh road plates set up we got 
the side of the church here tiled off with some little details here and some little uh like grass details added unfortunately the flowers did not fit so i could not add flowers there for color but i think it looks pretty good even without the flowers there just kind of like some little almost bushy type things just a little bit of something a little bit of extra detail along this side brings a little bit more green to the plain uh, gray sidewalk there and then we also did convert that back part back to dark gray and i guess if you want to you can count get a decent deal on a lego set as well um but yeah thanks for everyone who came out and watched the stream earlier and all your support on the recent videos and stuff lately uh keep doing that i love it it's awesome we gotta get hit a thousand so we can ice bucket and stuff and finish that bet as some of you pointed out in some comments on a poster two i made recently i didn't forget i'm waiting till the thousands forever video which will come out after we hit it which we're not too far off now we're like 54 subs off so it's coming it's it's getting there we're getting there boys i ain't stopping posting videos and you guys seem to be watching them so keep doing that it's awesome but uh yeah just other projects again about the whole daily bugle thing if you think that's a good idea uh let me know in the comments uh because i kind of want to do it and i think that would look pretty cool it just heightening up a even relatively large building as it is now i also want to mention another thing if any of you have watched any Brixie videos let me flip the camera around real quick you will know he did something with these type of things where he got a bunch of different colored like variants of it just like the same build but made a bunch of different like colored versions i kind of want to do something similar but maybe mostly have them the same color like some row housing and stuff um just with some slightly different details like a different plant growing in the garden or something or different colored flowers in the front uh just something like that to help fill space in our city and add a bit more like liveliness to it i like the aesthetic of having some buildings that people actually live in rather than just like functional buildings and stuff like the museum the uh police station here the daily bugle the church and stuff all that's nice but you need to have space for people to live and this is one of the few buildings that's set aside really just for people to live in like stuff like this there's a little apartment on the top there um same with uh where is it some of these buildings down here such as the parisian restaurant and i think even the uh, corner garage might have a little apartment on top i can't remember exactly it's been a while since i've opened it up but yeah i just want to add some more living space for people in the city so again tell me if you think that's a good idea i'll probably end up doing it anyway because i like it and i think it's a good idea so probably gonna go with it anyway uh, because it looks fun. It sounds like a fun project. I just kind of see what pieces I need, like p what pieces I do have, what pieces I'm going to need, and then I can start working on that project, and that'll be a good one. But for the next time we work on stuff, I might even work on it a little bit in the background and then just have a massive update where I talk about all the stuff that I worked on. But I want to convert all of these um, already mills plated stuff over to the correct colors like uh these light gray uh bits here i want to convert them all over and maybe get a couple more of these either mills plated or at least get the mills plates built for them which is why we had all of this stuff there but uh we'll definitely get to that next episode but i am running out of time this weekend and uh to get a video film because i said i'd get up tomorrow because today i usually release it because today well i guess yesterday but yeah i need to get it released at some point today and it's pretty early in the morning so i am gonna call it here so yeah have a good one and we'll see you guys next time bye